Hello, hello, this is Jennifer Bagley with CI Web Group and we wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use our project management system and today I am really excited. I have one of the most amazing clients on the planet. In fact, it is the most amazing client, Kevin Bagley <laughs> from Special Agents Realty, who is also my father. I suppose you deserve a, a proper title. He is also the <laughs> owner, co-owner, with Linda Bagley and broker for uh, Special Agents Realty, Seattle Real Estate Market. What other properties do you have? Well, we have Lake Union Living and Seattle Houseboat and Special Agents Houseboats. And we also have a VRBO website for? For the Hawk's Nest. Yes. So we've obviously done a lot of projects, probably because um, he gets the family discount. So he has had many years of experience with working with CI Web Group and the various project management systems, and we're really excited about being able to get you guys converted over to uh, Zoho for projects. We have scaled the planet of project management systems and looked for the most simple, intuitive, and organized project management system we could possibly imagine. And uh, I think we're finally here after lots of trial and error over the years. So. That being said, I asked my father if he would be gracious enough to take some time and to help me record a training video for our clients so that you guys have a good tutorial. I actually asked him to let me know when he got his invitation so that I could record it from beginning to end. And the next thing I know, I got an email saying he was already uploading all of his images into the file section. So. <laughs> What happens from your end when you first get an invitation? What's it look like? How'd you join? How easy was it? Well, it was extremely straightforward. I received the invite and uh, basically just says, click here to join the portal. And I clicked to join the portal, set up my password, and inside of 30 seconds, I was in. And, you know, it's, it was obvious from looking at it that uh, Zoho is very, very intuitive and real easy to use, so I was able to quickly go in and start uploading some of the project images that we need. Yeah, so says the 30 emails I got back to back. <laughs> so, you guys, this is really, really easy when you log in. So, just as Kevin said, you're going to get that email and just join the portal. Um, create your account. As soon as you log in, uh, was the first de thing that you saw, was it your dashboard here? Uh, yeah, it was basically, uh, there was an inbox and uh, it asked me uh, if I wanted to type something and I said, you know, Kevin Bagley was here. I had to put my, my stamp on the project, of course. Um, and then it also said that I could update to the new look and feel, which I did right off the bat, so I wouldn't be fighting any old stuff and just working with the new stuff. Perfect. So that icon is going to be right over here in the top right corner. The same for you. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. So it's going to say switch to new UI, which is user interface. So you are working in the same user interface as all of us, and we're all looking at the same visual appearance. That's the very first thing you want to do. It, you're more than welcome to say you were there, and that'll make us know that you got into your account okay, and then immediately switch over to the new UI which just click on that. So once you've done that, you should see it says switch to old UI, which you will never press this button again. All right, so that being said, what uh, what he was referring to is he landed on the, the widget or module called feed. And right here in the feed area, you have the ability to type a message. So you'll notice it has the ability to at and you can simply type in the at symbol and choose anyone on the team. So let's go ahead and say hi to Michael and Kathy Marshall at the same time. How many is this? Number 12. That's about right. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're going down this path again. All right, so that's how easy it is. You definitely want to use the at symbol when you're communicating back and forth, and that way they're going to get a message. You also have the ability to send it as a direct message. So 
If I want to make sure that they get an email, not just a pop-up notification, you can send this as a direct message and that's going to make sure it shows up in their email account as well. So that makes it easy. You can send to one person or more than one person. This is a great way to communicate back and forth uh, with the team that you're working on. So inside your project, in the feed area, you can do almost everything from here. So you have the ability to uh, type a status message, ask a question. You can also upload a document. You can create a task, even if you want to track tasks for yourself. So if you want to uh, create tasks that are reminders for you to send certain files or images or logos or content, things for your project, you can absolutely do that as well. You're just going to choose the user that it belongs to. So you can choose from somebody on our team or you can choose your own name and set a date. You can mark the priority and you can upload a file or just uh, mark uh, one individual task. You can also make a task list. So if you want to be able to add more than one item to a list, you can easily do that. This is a great place to take notes if you're on a meeting with one of our project managers uh, or strategists and you want to be able to keep track of a list of things that you commit to getting done for us. You can also set up milestones. You probably won't do that very often unless we have a hard date that we're all working on jointly. Uh, document. So, uh, Kevin, tell me about how you uploaded your files. What'd you do? Um, so I went in t actually to the documents section, and in the documents section, I found the folders that existed there. Uh, one of them was client files. That seemed pretty obvious. So I went into client files and I uploaded a few pictures. Uh, initially, I didn't have the ability to add some uh, subfolders, so uh, I talked to Jennifer about that, but we're getting that all taken care of. So if you want to organize things into folders and you need us to create certain fo folders for you, we can absolutely do that. Just talk to your project manager and that can be one of the first things you do if you have a lot of different content and information that you want to be able to track. Otherwise, you've got files that you can or folders that are pre-set up in your, uh, in your project. You're more than welcome to use those. And then we have our own area for files as well where we can keep track of the different designs, your final PSD versions, your sliders, your promotions, and other things that are part of your project as well. Documents are pretty easy. Um, on the left hand side you've got recent so I can see what the recent files were that were uploaded to the project. You also have the ability to favorite or star different files. You have your folders on the left hand side. You also can sync to Dropbox. So I know a lot of you come with Dropboxes full of images that you want to have on your website so that's a really easy way to do that. Click on documents, spreadsheets, or presentations. So if you have any kind of presentations, documents, spreadsheets, forms, and things that you need on your site, it's easy to be able to upload those. Now, Kevin, when you press new, what do you see up here on the on the side? So you have everything with the exception of folders, is that correct? I have document, spreadsheet, presentation, and then I can upload file or uh, get it from the cloud. Okay, perfect. So you have almost all of these options. Um, upload them and we can organize them. Great part is once you have something uploaded into the system, uh, we can easily go in and we can rearrange them as well. So you'll notice we can right click on there, we can create a subfolder. I'm curious if you can do that. We can share it, set it as a favorite, rename it, copy it, or we can duplicate it, download it, or drop it to trash if you accidentally uploaded the wrong file. Now I can download or show info. All right, easy enough. Okay, so left-hand side, we'll just start at the top. And um, actually, let me go through this real quick. So you have uh, different kind of views. As you go around the different screens, you, this is a list view. If you prefer to look at it more like a traditional file system on your PC, or if you like the image view, you can do that as well, but feel free to move those depending on what, what works best for you. Starting at the very top on Dashboard. Dashboard is going to give us, actually, do you have Dashboard? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Does it look similar to this? Uh, no, I take that back. I have Feed you at the top, feed. not Dashboard. Okay, right. so perfect. In our world, <laughs> this is what we get to see. Uh, how many tasks we have, how many open, closed, total, 
task eliminators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm going to roll with that. The people who close the most amount of tasks. Uh, overdue work items, team statuses. We can see who all, you know, for the average project, we've got 20 or 30 people in there. So we've got a lot of different tasks going on at the same time, a lot of different users. And this gives us the ability to see what everybody's uh, activity level is, what do they have open, what's due, and so forth. Uh, bugs, which we'll get into. We have a weekly digest which keeps track of the number of tasks that are open versus closed, completed, or still open, and milestone status, upcoming events, and so forth. So this view is really for internal. We'll roll down to feed. We went over this. Simple, simple. Um, if you're on a marketing plan, you guys have special events. This is a great place to keep track of those events. So in the real estate market or real estate world, I should say, you have major, major events that we have to be prepared for. Some of them, you have traffic increases on your website that are ridiculous, uh, probably because you're a national TV star. And <laughs> some of them um, are big events that you want maybe our social team to be aware of, heavy traffic days, uh, maybe it's a specific marketing day, or even seasonal activities that we need to be aware of as regards to... Uh, product changes or service changes that happen because of seasonal events. So, Kevin, what kind of ways would you use the event area as it relates to your business? Well, should I tell you now or later that I don't have that event tab? <laughs> you don't have the event tab? <laughs> really? No, I, I have status task, milestone, document, forum, and bug. Tell me this. Do you have access to calendar on the left-hand side? Uh, no calendar. Jeez. All right. Well, guess what that means? You have to have a meeting with us so we can set your calendar notices. Or I that would be great. How to give you additional privileges? You maybe we just restricted you so we don't get nine hundred television shows on our calendar. That's it. That's what you should do. <laughs> All right. Give me more. Give me more. I'm a feature <laughs> abuser. I know you are too. I'm a little nervous about that. Okay. I need to figure that out because I'm I'm curious. That would actually help. If you don't, if we're not allowed to give you guys privileges to calendars, then this is what you're going to want to do when you sit on the phone with either the social media team, the SEO team, or the web team is come up with your um, major event dates. Like I said, season changes. If you happen to be on HGTV and we know we're going to get a million visitors to your website, uh, like Mr. Bagley here. All right. So left-hand side, what do you have on yours? We go from feed down to feed tasks. All right, so let's roll into tasks. When you get to tasks, um, there are a, about a thousand tasks associated with any individual project. You don't have access to see all of them because it will give you a headache. So um, on the tasks, where you need to participate. We can't just work on our own. It's gonna be labeled as external, and those are the ones you can see. Everything else, so these are the majors. This is the light version of, of what you get to see in order to get a website done, and the reality is our version is much longer. So simple enough, external, external, that means this is, this is in your area. So you have the ability to add tasks, view tasks, you can drill into the details of it. For example, on homepage design, if you have specific things that are related to the homepage design, this is a great place to go add those. Do you have that access on yours? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Do you have comments, description? What else do you have over here? Comments, description, subtask documents, forums, and activities. Perfect. So. To keep your things organized as it relates to the home page, if you have specific images, graphics, icons, logos, branding, uh, this is a great place to put those versus just putting them into the general file system. So you can go here and click on documents and you can add all the documents that should be associated with the home page. Or you have the ability to associate documents that are in the system as well. So if you already have uploaded documents here and you want this to go on the home page, you can easily click on day and night, Safeco, Mountain Rainier, and you can grab this and you can attach this here. And that's gonna associate this image 
with your homepage design. I really like gotcha. that. I'm going to delete it. All right. So on the right hand side, these are a bunch of items that are primarily for us to keep track of how we uh, get through a task. So let's roll down. Do you have access to bugs? Um, I've been pretty good at making bugs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have access to bugs. Okay, don't touch it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not bugs, they're creeping creatures. Yes, so when you get to bugs, you're only going to use this once we get into development. We're in the final stages of development. So if our team happens to share a link with you because we've done partial development, maybe a homepage, that is does not mean it's time for feedback. <laughs> that is not the time to start submitting bugs. However, when our team comes in and they say, we're ready for a dev site review meeting, you can bug out. <laughs> you can All right. submit bugs, test, knock yourself out. You can submit every bug related to a dev site as soon as they give you a thumbs up and ready to do so. Fair? All right. Fun. All right. Awesome. Milestones, do you have access? Yes, I do. Okay, so for this, some of the task lists that are related to specific milestones, you'll be able to see because they say external. Some of them you will not be able to see. Uh, that's because we just take care of it. And you probably won't do a lot with milestones other than keep a, a track of and an eye on uh, how we get through different projects. Next. Calendars, that's ours. Documents, we already went through. What else do you have? Forums. Forums. Okay, so forums, just leave it alone for now. We don't have any forum topics. We'll get there, but right now I would just stay out of it. Let's roll the pages very quickly. Inside okay, pages. We, I don't have pages. Awesome. I'm glad you don't have pages yet. So, I have, have reports and charts. Reports and charts, perfect. So, when we start feeding you guys um, content it's going to show up in pages or documents we'll have an area so if you're if you guys are investing in uh, website content or blog content then you can access that from a file folder that will say for review and they'll task it to you and associate that file so you'll know you need to review that outside of that uh, I don't think you're going to use much of this right now. Now, you, Mr. Future, feature user, you probably will, but the majority of our clients probably won't touch that. Yep. And that's pretty much it. So, as our client, do you have any questions? I don't at this time. Um, we're going to be done next week, right? I, you know, I was just going to say, coming from my father, I knew the next question was, when is my website going to be done? Because you just started today. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is a perfect ending to a very easy training. <laughs> you are fantastic. You guys, check out your email. Search for Zoho, Z-O-H-O. -O, look in spam. Find that email. Accept your invitation so you can get into the project and ready to go. Um, as a reminder, projects are only for those customers who have an active web site or landing page or ongoing marketing activities. So if you do not have any of those, if you had us build a website and the only thing you're doing is hosting that website with us, everything you need once your website goes live is going to go right here. You click on Help Desk. This is going to take you into the ticket system. Uh, this is brand new as well. We're building a knowledge base where you can actually get trainings and so forth inside the knowledge base. Other than that, all you do, click on Add a Ticket. Submit all the information, be as detailed as possible, and our help desk uh, team will take care of you. That is a totally separate team than our web project. So for Seattle Real Estate Market, that, you have an active website project, everything is going to be inside here. However, you have a bunch of websites that are already live with us. If you ever have any issues, don't put them in the Seattle Real Estate Market project. Drop a help desk ticket so it gets to the right team. These guys, all they do is process and manage help desk tickets and website administration requests for live websites. These guys are building brand new websites, two totally different departments. So hope that helps. Good Perfect. Job. Yep.
Any words of wisdom for a new client taking on a website project? Um, no, I won't give them the shortcut of how they can call you directly and get direct <laughs> access. So we're good. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks. <laughs> so, every, everyone else, I'm going to tell you, don't disappear. You have a certain team that is assigned to your project. So this one's for you, Dad. You have a certain number of resources assigned to your project, and they have a start date, and they have an end date, and then they take on another project. So don't disappear. <laughs> Reply to all requests for approvals and uh, reviews within three days of getting those responses, or let us know if you need a, a week or you're going on vacation. For you guys, it's Hawaii at random, and your project will stay on time. If your project goes late or it goes over those days, if it's 60 days, 70 days, 90 days, whatever your project timeline is, those resources are already booked for other projects. So remember, you might get assigned a new team or be put towards the back of the line and dad, that includes you. Mm -hmm. You got it? Uh -huh. Yeah, see, that went over really well. All right. For I everyone, know where you live. <laughs> for everyone else, the rule applies to you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much, Father. I love you dearly. Thanks for bringing love me to the project. Appreciate you. And everyone else, good luck. We'll see you in Zoho. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.